good morning. It's uh, just coming up to 8 a.m. We've just got up, got ourselves ready. We're going to go for breakfast. It's still quite dark out here in Scotland. Well, I didn't think we were that early up. This is pretty standard time for us to get up for breakfast on a cruise, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but we're the only ones in the restaurant. We're literally the first ones in. It is a really nice restaurant, this. That's where we were sat last night. It's a really lovely restaurant, isn't it, up here on the top deck? Yeah, it is. Haggis. Because who doesn't like haggis for breakfast? That looks really good, actually, doesn't it? So that's our main breakfast done. So we've got some charcuterie, nice bit of meat and cheese to go with our toast. Yeah, it was a really nice breakfast. Really enjoyed that actually. We've just come out onto the open decks now. We're gonna have a little wander around the ship, a little explore around the ship. Uh, Fingal was basically like a lighthouse tender. It um, took lighthouse keepers and supplies in between lighthouses. But yeah, this is deck one. Not sure how many decks there are actually. So this is the, the next deck up. This is where the restaurant is, just there. Really nice in there. Yes, yeah, so all these windows here on the left are the restaurant. Looks like there's a few people in there having breakfast now. This takes us out into where the lift is. It's like a central point. You've got this like cool cylindrical lift. But this is the ballroom. I had a quick look at this yesterday. But yeah, this is what they use for functions. Looks really nice. We're coming down here because you can get to the engine room down here somewhere. Uh. Oh, here we go. Wow, this, uh, this is the engine room. Actually, it smells a bit engine-y. Yeah, it's really cool. So, we're back up on deck two. Just behind where Kirsty is there is the restaurant. And we're gonna go into the bridge. This is the bridge. captain's table there. You've got all the original log books as well, which is amazing. Imagine if this was out at sea going up and down. Yeah, you get a pretty good, uh, pretty good shot of the bow there. It's quite long, isn't it? The, the bridge is set quite far back. So that's what the ship looked like when it was operational as a lighthouse tender. All this, although the ship is in the water at the dock here, it's actually not floating, it is supported under the water. Let's go and have a quick look. Yeah. Oh, how cool is that? I love the fact that you can you can come up and explore parts of the ship. Yeah, to get a, you get a feel of what it would have been like when it was operational. Yeah. To get to see the engine room and, and, and then up here in the bridge. Play with all the old and so, yeah, you kind of imagine what it must have been like when it was ploughing through those rough seas, yeah. up uh, through the highlands and islands, visiting all the lighthouses with all the supplies and stuff. It must have been amazing, wasn't it?
Oh, there we go. There we're just about to board. You can see down to the uh, stern, just down in this direction. And there's the bow. Let's go have a look at the bridge. It's Kirsty there just listening to an audio guide. You get one of those for free. And so you can listen to that as you do your tour. Or you can access the audio guide on your phone. There's a QR code at the start and you can just access that uh, audio guide on your smart device just by scanning the QR code, which I think is quite good as well. Here we come, back onto the yacht, a different deck. Ooh, the Royal Deck Tea Room sounds nice. It's mad that the uh, Royal Family were not that long ago, walking around this, this deck themselves. It's quite a nice day now. It's quite bright over here. Jasmine tea sounded nice. Mm. A little wintry Christmas cappuccino. Scones have arrived. I've got mine with clotted cream and jam, plain scone. And you went for the fruit scone, didn't you, with uh, just butter and jam. How's your jasmine tea? Very nice. It's jasmine green tea. Last deck. This must be the crew bar, is it? Yeah. So these are obviously all crew quarters. Pretty impressive, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It really is. Mm -hmm. More cabins. So we're just leaving the ship for a little while. We're going around the corner to a little restaurant, local restaurant in Leith that specializes in seafood. It's called Fisher's. It's supposed to be very nice. So I'm looking forward to, to a meal in there. So we made it into Fisher's. It's very nice in here. It's nice and cozy, isn't it? I like the setting actually. So I've gone for the venison starter. That's really nice, lots of veggies going on there. And then the strips of venison underneath. That's lovely. Very sweet. So this 
dish, the venison starter, is off the Christmas menu. I chose all my meals off the Christmas menu. And it does taste very Christmassy with the, with the sprouts and sort of Christmassy sweetness to everything. It's really lovely. Food has arrived. You're going to tuck in. What did you go for? The fish cakes. Oh, okay. Which I think are quite popular. Let's have a look inside. Can we have a look inside yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, nice. Really <laughs> good. I've got a Foncer tonight, large glass. And I've gone for the monkfish, which is one of the main courses on the Christmas menu. It's um, a bit curried, so it's got like a little, a light curry sauce in there. And then this breaded monkfish. It smells it. Stunning. Nice white, white cool. fish in there. It looks really good. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, it's nice, nice flavour to the fish, and the, the the curry is very light in flavour, so it doesn't overpower the fish. You've gone for your favourite creme brulee. It's massive, isn't it? It looks look big, actually. Yeah, that looks really nice. Yeah, it's a good one. The uh, cheesecake off the Christmas menu. So it's a chocolate. I think it's a chocolate cheesecake with a eggnog sauce. Mm. Oh yeah, well. Yeah, it's delicious. Really, really thick and chocolatey, yeah. It's lovely. It's obviously a really popular little restaurant this isn't it it's absolute I mean it's a Monday night it's just after seven o'clock in the evening on a Monday and it's um, absolutely rammed yeah really popular venue that was really nice wasn't it absolutely delicious and really convenient that Fisher's restaurant literally just around the corner from Fingal it was a two minute walk if that it's just around the corner so we just walked along the dockside and then we're we're just about to uh, get back on board so we're going to go and sort ourselves out for tomorrow morning we're going to go into edinburgh have a look at the christmas markets and stuff so thanks for watching the video today and we'll see you on board fingal in the morning for breakfast good morning we've just come down from breakfast porridge and eggs royale was really nice the crew on board have ordered us a cab it's going to arrive just down there shortly so we're going to go to shoreside meet up with the cab it's going to take us into edinburgh we're going to have a walk around the shops and the christmas markets so we'll see you there we're in edinburgh we're going to have a little mooch about that's the castle just up there so we're going to have a little look up there and then we'll walk back down this way down the royal mile and have a look around the shops and then into the Christmas markets and see what nice things there are to eat. <laughs> Come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Come ye, come ye to Bethlehem. Come So yeah, there's the castle just there where we were earlier on and then we walked from the castle down the Royal Mile and then back round to the Christmas Market where this Christmas Market is along Princess Street, London Princess Street Gardens. 
exaltation Sing all your citizens of heaven above I think we'll probably think about getting something to eat soon, won't we? Get a little snack, can't we? <laughs> Just walk down George Street They've got a nice rink set up on George Street here. It's like a lane, a nice rink lane that uh, goes around in like a circuit. It's quite cool. We're not going to go ice skating. We're going to go and uh, carry on wandering around the shops and uh, we still haven't got anything to eat yet, have we? So, are you hungry? I'm starting to get a bit peckish, yeah. So I'd rather eat than skate. So I've got my haggis. Haggis, neeps and tatties. And we've gone for your cheeseburger. Onions. Yeah, really busy here now. I mean, it's like properly rammed. It's lovely, actually. Very peppery, very oniony. Your spiced plum cider. Oh, it's delicious. It's, it it's smells really nice. Delicious. I know it smells good and tastes good. Yeah, I'm going to try Kirsty's plum cider first. It's still warm. Oh my god, it's really quite sweet, isn't it? It's really lovely. It smells, when you put it to your nose, it smells like a dessert. Like a, some sort of plum crumble, but... And I've gone for the... I've just gone for the classic glue vine, the uh, mulled wine. Oh yeah, it's a lovely one though. That's nice, nice and, nice and hot, because it's quite cold out here. It's, um, yeah, it's lovely. This will warm us up. Nice hot wine. For 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the alcohol to content is in this. I can't imagine it's very strong, about 4%, something yeah, like that, maybe. Mine was like five and a half. It's really nice, though, isn't it? On a cold day. This is delicious. This, this isn't going to be the last one we have today. Certainly not for me, anyway. I'll have, a, have, I'll have at least another one of these later on. Um, yeah, Haggis was nice. I really enjoyed my my lunch, my late lunch. So we'll, uh, we'll have this, have a wander around. Uh, See so you might get a bratwurst for dinner. Some more mulled cider. It's a bit cold now, it's gone dark, so we're gonna warm ourselves up with these hot drinks. I've got some classic mulled wine, some glue vine, and you're on the mulled spice, mulled plum, plum spice cider. <laughs> yeah. It's very nice. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna warm ourselves up with these and then maybe think about getting some more food. So I've just been to the mac and cheese place there and I've got more haggis. So I've got mac and cheese with a big old dollop of haggis on top. Try the mac and cheese first underneath. Oh, that's lovely. You'll have to try some of this, it's absolutely delicious. Mac and cheese is amazing. Let's try a bit of haggis on there as well. That's lovely. Actually, the haggis goes really well with the mac and cheese. It's really nice. Yes, lovely. Lovely. So Kirsty was so impressed by my mac and cheese, my haggis mac and cheese, she's decided to go for her own mac and cheese. And you went for the Italian, didn't you? Uh, Parmesan, sun dried tomatoes and uh, pesto. It smells good. It smells very Italian. It's really tasty. Oh, it's really tasty. Yeah, then I'll fill us up on it for, for heading back later. Well, it's getting late, so we're going to make our way back to Fingal. We're going to go and see if we can get a cab and make our way back. We've got a pack tonight, we're leaving tomorrow, driving all the way back home to England. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you back at Fingal.
we're safely back on board Fingal. Just getting ourselves organised now. Watching a bit of TV, doing a little bit of packing. And uh, we'll get a, a decent night's sleep, hopefully for our six hour drive back home to Northamptonshire tomorrow. Uh, it's been a really good day, really good day. Um, it's been years since I've been to Edinburgh, so it was nice to go in. And the Christmas market was really nice, had some nice food, a bit of mulled wine, getting into the Christmas spirit. Uh, so um, yeah, we're gonna get ourselves, carry on getting ourselves organized now anyway. So we'll see you in the morning up in the restaurant for breakfast on our last day. How did you enjoy your time on Fingal? It was really good, wasn't it? I'm really glad nice. We got a few nights. Yeah, yeah, really nice few nights. It's a lovely, lovely ship. Really lovely hotel. Uh, but the car's packed up, and we're just about to drive home. So it's really close to Christmas now. So have a really, really good Christmas break, everybody. And uh, we'll see you in the new year.